Over to you, Jeff King. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks very much, Julie. We uh, start with ECHL action from the Save on Foods Memorial Center. Sam and Kings and the Idaho Steelheads put in the wraps on a three-game set. Last night was the rubber match, and things did not look good early on for Mark Morrison's men. In fact, I don't couldn't beat Julian Ellis on Friday night, but... They'll get to him just over a minute into last night's game as their captain, Marty Flickle, left all alone in front. one nothing Steelhead for just a buck, 22 into the first period. Idaho will make it to Bagel five minutes later. Again, no one picking up the man in front. This time it is Matt Craig beating Ellis on the one-timer, 2 nothing Idaho. Now the home team does get one of those goals back. Nice little passing play, Daryl Lloyd with the finish. Beating Matt Zaba 2-1 Idaho after the first period of play. We had more offense from the Steelheads in the second, and one that Julian Ellis would like to forget. Oh boy. Taggart Desmond gets the gift, and it's 3-1 for the visitors. The Sam McKean Kings uh, keep coming, though. They'll score a shorthand, and Dylan Yo with a nice shot, his ninth on the year. That cut Idaho's lead to. 2-1 after 2, but in the third, the Steelheads put the game away. It's on the power play. Big, juicy rebound for John Lammers. And for the most part, that was the old hockey game. Now, our Salmon Kings did get their chances late in the third period, but they just can't bury it. And they lose last night in front of just over 5,000 fans. 4-2 to two, the final for the Steelheads, but Victoria... Still sits in first place in the ECHL's West Division, but just a single point ahead of Idaho. And Fish have a tough test coming up as they'll host the conference-leading Las Vegas Wranglers for three games starting Wednesday night at the Save on Foods Memorial Center. Let's hear from Victoria head coach Mark Morrison. Uh, these series are tough, you know. Uh, Idaho's a good hockey team. They're well coached. They're disciplined, and uh, tonight I think is an example of uh, what we're going to see in playoffs. Um, it's very tight hockey, and as a team, we have to be just as disciplined, and you know, we have to go back to work on our special teams.